हेलो वेलकम अगेन वी आर सॉल्विंग सम क्वेश्चंस ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर द टॉपिक इज रेडिएशन क्वेश्चन नंबर 20 सी दिस एंड एनक्लोजर मेजर्स 1.5 मीटर इनटू 1.75 मीटर विद ए स्टे विद ए हाइट ऑफ 2 मीटर अंडर स्टेडी स्टेट इक्विलिब्रियम कंडीशन द वॉल्स एंड सीलिंग्स आर मेंटेनड एट 525 केल्विन एंड फ्लोर इज एट 400 केल्विन एप्सलॉन वन एमिसिविटी ऑफ सीलिंग एंड वॉल इक्वल टू पॉइंट एट फाइव एंड एप्सलॉन टू इज एमिसिविटी ऑफ फ्लोर इक्वल टू पॉइंट सेवन फाइव नेट रेडिएशन टू फ्लोर इज ऑप्शन ए फाइव पॉइंट फोर एट एट किलोवाट ऑप्शन बी सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री वन वन किलोवाट ऑप्शन सी एट पॉइंट फोर वन वन किलोवाट एंड ऑप्शन डी फोर पॉइंट टू थ्री फोर किलोवाट सो हियर Here the uh, taking the four walls and ceiling as uh, as uh, one body and floor as two body. Okay, so then the rate uh, then the rate of heat exchange is given by sigma b t one minus t one four minus t two four divided by resistance. And this is the resistance of the of the uh, of the four wall and ceiling. And this is the the resistance of space. And this is the resistance of floor. Okay, so uh, here a one is the area of Four wall and ceiling. So area of uh, as the top of the floor is uh, enclosure is 1.5 meter into 1.75 meter. So two walls will be 1.5 into two into two, and uh, other two walls will be 1.75 into two to two. Okay. So uh, so that uh, is the area of four walls and the area of that enclosure that ceiling is 1.5 into 1.75. That is 15. Six uh, to five meters, and area of floor is one point five meters. One point five because it is same as that of ceiling, that is two point six to five. Okay, now we have this uh, uh, a one and a two. Now we want to calculate this f one two. So f one two is the floor is not completely enclosed by ceiling and uh, and wall. So oh, sorry, floor is complete. Floor is completely enclosed by ceiling and wall, so and cannot be used. Okay, so uh, as the floor cannot be used, so uh, And we have taken floor as two, so F two two will be zero. And from that uh, summation of the G factor, we have F two two plus F two one is equal to one. So F two one will be one. And by reciprocal theorem, we have A one F one two is equal to F two A two F F two one. We can find out F uh, one two because we need F one two here. Okay. So F one two uh, as we have areas and we have F two one, so F one two will be point one six eight. So now this uh, expression can be written by uh, taking this a1 uh, on the top. So it can be written as sigma b a1 t1 four minus t2 four divided by one by f1 one by f1 one plus one by f1 two uh, plus one by minus f1 two by f1 two a1 by a2. So f1 one and f2 are 0.8 and 0.75. So these are the value. We can put these values. Okay, and uh, we can put the A1 and A2 values and uh, T1 and T2 are 5.5 and 400. So and A1 is of uh, 15.625. So a uh, heat transfer will be 5.48 watt or 5.48 kilowatt. So answer is 5.48 uh, kilowatt. Okay. And uh, uh, now next question is 27. The flat uh, answer to this question is A. The flat floor hemispherical uh, furnace is uh, 800 kelvin and has an emissivity of 0.5. The corresponding value of ha hemispherical floor are 200, 1200 kelvin and 0.25. Net radiation heat transfer from floor from roof to floor is option A uh, 26984 watt per meter square, option B 35812 watt per meter square, option C. Two pi one one watt per meter square. Option D, one two zero one one watt per meter square. So here, uh, this is your floor and this is your uh, roof, hemispherical roof, and uh, we have to find out the heat transfer per unit area of floor. Okay, so uh, this F one two is your sigma b T one four minus T one two four. Uh, taking A one as one, so uh, in the in the above expression that we have used here. We can find out heat flux. So uh, this taking this as one, so this is a one, and this as two. 
this A2. So as this is hemispherical, so, so hemisphere, so this should be a circle. So A1 is pi by 4 d square and A2 is a pi by 2 d square area of hemisphere. Okay. So uh, now uh, the ratio of B2 is uh, uh, 0.5 and uh, sigma B is uh, uh, now putting the value of uh, T1 and T2, T1 is at 800 and T2 is 1200. So putting this value we can get uh, a heat flux as minus 2, uh, 9, 8, 4 watt per meter square. So answer is, uh, answer to question number 27 is A. Okay, next, uh, question number 28, a plate having 10 centimeter area, uh, square area, each side is hanging in the middle of a room. Uh, of 100 meters square uh, total surface area the plate temperature and emissivity are respectively 800 and 0.6 so the temperature and emissivity value for the surfaces of the room are 300 kelvin and 0.3 respectively bold than constantly sigma is equal to 5.67 in terms of minus 8 watt per meter square per Kelvin for total heat flux uh, from the two surfaces of the plate is option A 13.66 watt and option B 27.32 uh, watt, option C 27.87 uh, watt and option D 19.661. Uh, so here uh, this is uh, here body one is hanging uh, in the middle of the room and so the heat transfer can be uh, given by this sigma a1 uh, t1 4 minus t1 2 4 divided by 1 by epsilon 1 by epsilon 1 plus 1 1 a1 by a2 1 minus epsilon 2 by epsilon 2 okay. so here we have to, uh, to find out the heat transfer from the plate to the room so a1 is uh, we will take it as a1 a1 is a 10 centimeter square and here it should be f12 and because f12 is uh, whole the plate cannot see itself so f12 is 1 Okay, so that is why it is 1 and uh, A2 is your uh, 100 meters square this is 10 centimeters square. so uh, A2 is very very large as compared to A1 so this factor will be very small very very small so we can neglect this factor so now we take this factor only so this will be your uh, sigma B A1 even 4 minus C2 4 uh, 1 minus epsilon 1 by epsilon 1 or it will be 1 by epsilon 1 or it will be this uh, the actual expression will be epsilon 1 sigma b e1 e1 4 minus c2 4 so uh, now we can put the value of uh, these quantities so uh, epsilon 1 is 0.6 and this is 5.76 7 minus 8 and this is a 10 by 100 square and t1 is 800 and t2 is 300 so from this we have uh, heat as a1 is the area of uh, uh, one side of the plate okay so one side of the plate so, uh, so we will take we have to take two sides okay so we will take two sides so, so the heat transfer will be double because uh, that is the heat transfer from one side when we consider both sides then it will be double that is 27.32 so answer is option B okay.